Then you move on to Jorge Masvidal versus Ben Askren. And leading up to this fight, there's a bunch of shit talk, right? Like, I don't really know. I, I, I don't really have a side, right? Like, I, I wasn't involved in it. I don't really know what the fuck was happening. But from the highlights I've seen, like, Ben talks shit, man. That's just what he does, right? And Jorge comes out and ends the fight in five seconds. Really, it was like two or three seconds. Sprints across the cage, hits Ben with a huge fucking flying knee, and it knocks him out cold. Then he lands a couple extra bombs after and celebrates. And really, it turned. People were asking him why he was celebrating and stuff. And I'm like, <sighs> okay, I can understand how if you weren't following the beef and stuff, you can understand how that's you would view that as disrespectful, or, disrespectful or unsportsmanlike. But I thought Jorge had a very good fucking point in the post-fight press conference when he said like. Why is it okay for people to talk all this stuff? And then after the fight, you know, I'm not allowed to celebrate. It's not like he hit him with extra bombs after the ref pulled him off, which by the way, those two extra shots say what you want about him, but you knew going into it, that Jorge didn't like Ben and it's his job. I mean, it's his job, man. And Jorge, that's just the type of person that Jorge is. Like if you're Ben Askren, you've got to expect that when you're fighting Jorge. And I mean, goddamn, dude what do you, I, I can't get mad at him for it. I wasn't upset when I watched the celebration at all. I think the reality of it was that Ben was talking. It pissed Jorge off. Jorge's about as real as it gets. I mean, you're talking about a kid who came up street fighting in Kimbo Slice videos, right? And he's one of the more well-rounded and probably underappreciated up until this point martial artist in the game. Jorge Masvidal is fucking legit. Like, he can hang with some of the elite, and he's good at everything. He's... I, I didn't understand the underdog. I, I, I did in the sense that I just, I didn't get it because, I mean, the biggest name on Ben Askren's resume before he fought Robbie Lawler was probably Douglas Lima. And they fought in like 2012. So, I mean, Jorge Masvidal was like a plus 175 underdog. You know, that seemed, that, that seemed a little bit, it seemed weird to me just because when I look at, if you look at Ben's hands, he, I mean, if he were to get into any exchange, boxing exchanges with Jorge, I can guarantee it wouldn't have gone well. The only question was going to be whether he can get Jorge down. And Jorge tra trains with, he trains wrestling with some bad motherfuckers, man. Like, I think he, I put money on Jorge on that fight. I thought he was going to win it. I thought it was a bad matchup for Ben, and I did not expect that to happen. But what are you going to do? But in regards to the celebration, I mean, if you're going to talk the shit and stuff like Ben was and like whatever they were doing, then you got to, and Ben handled it well, but I'm just saying, like, if you're going to say that, you you got to be prepared for that shit to happen when you do get knocked out. Like, you got to realize the personality that you're fighting, and if the, if it doesn't go your way, how are you going to get mad that he celebrated? You know? The th I was upset when Habib jumped over the thing and everybody jumped and hit Connor, Connor, but that was, like, a different thing. Like, Jorge just celebrated, rubbed it in his face a little bit, even though he couldn't see what the fuck was going on, right? He was out cold. But... Habib like jumped the fence and went into the crowd and then the guys jump his teammates jumped the fence and hit Connor from behind. The whole thing was a fucking mess, right? And even looking back on that, like hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Like when that first happened, I was initially upset, but after it kind of blew over for a few days and you start thinking about it, like, eh, whatever. You know? But I had no problem with Jorge celebrating. I mean, it, it didn't bug me in the slightest. I knew it was coming if he would have won. Like, you knew he didn't like Ben. He made his intentions very clear to people. So I don't know why they were so surprised when he finally did it. Like, Jorge Masvidal is just being Jorge Masvidal. He's a bad motherfucker. And you got to think that what else is next for him? It has to be a title shot. There's no other fucking option. There's no other fight that you could put in front of him that we're going to get excited about now. He just beat a guy who was 20-0, and 19-0, and 0, never lost, dominates everybody with the style, and he he – eliminated that in five seconds five seconds one flying knee and you know i know that we didn't get to see the fight play out in full but when he ran like that and he threw the knee like ben's immediate reaction was to go for the takedown you know like I, you kind of got to feel like jorge had the read on it man he deserved the win it was a good win and one of the more brilliant knockouts in ufc history i don't know how you don't give him a title shot after that he deserves it especially considering where Colby Covington's at now. I don't care what Colby Covington says. If I was him and Ben Askren just beat Robbie Lawler the way he did that controversial. Robbie's coming up a loss. To me, talk about like the, the name behind Robbie Lawler and that all you want. 
it, this does nothing to push you into title contention. Like, you were the interim title holder, and you're going to take a fight against a guy coming off a loss? I don't understand it. If I'm, if I'm Colby, I wouldn't have taken that fucking fight. I would have said no to pretty much everything except for Usman. And now he's put himself in a position where somebody else, like Jorge Masvidal, he just opened up the door for somebody else to get a title shot over him. Because with Colby Covington's style and just the way that the – I mean, like I said, Robbie's coming off a loss. I don't see how he can beat Robbie and then earn, a, earn an immediate title shot in even most of the fans' eyes. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. I'm saying I think that taking the fight with Robbie was a mistake. I think that the negotiations with the UFC will be harder even if he does beat Robbie. And if he does beat Robbie, it's probably not going to be a fun fight to watch Like in, in the fans' eyes. like It's going to be grappling heavy. And the way that Jorge won was so explosive and so you know undeniably conclusive – I don't see how Jorge doesn't get the title shot after that, man. I just don't I don't see it.